Well, hey there, folks, and welcome to the BRO Reloading Bench. I am your host, Wade Rush. Man, have we got a great show for you guys today. It's all about 20 gauge, extended range, coyote, and other varmint loads. Y'all stand by. Boys, before we even get started, I get asked tons of questions all the time, especially from new loaders and upcoming loaders. What do you need to get started? Well, one of the first things that you need are these manuals here from Ballistic Products, most of which I think here are available for digital download. We, uh, the Coyote Manual, absolutely awesome. Uh, all kinds of loads in here, boys. All different kinds of pellet sizes from BB all the way up to double alt, triple alt, buck. The buckshot manual. And like I said, I think a lot of these are available for digital download. The advantages manual. If you don't have this one, I would suggest getting the uh, the paper version of this one here. And I mean, a lot of you guys with the digital download and all that, this covers from the very beginning, all of the basics. The folks at Ballistic Products cover all of the basic stuff in the advantages manual whenever you're loading anything okay terminology all that stuff they've got in this manual right here as well as here we're talking about the Lyman manual see everything all the bookmarks and all that stuff in here if you don't have the Lyman shotgun reloading handbook you definitely need to get one of these here all right, let's dive on into today's episode. Okay, fellas, I'm going to demonstrate two. I'm going to demonstrate the two and three quarter inch and the three inch extended range load that I'm putting together here. This is our best performer by far. Um, whenever we're talking about extending ranges or looking at throwing some smaller sized pellets of the buckshot pellets, I'm talking like B size, 17 cal up to um, as big as number two buck, I think is what we did in the 20 gauge today. Because in the PT-2092 20 gauge wide from Ballistic Products, the biggest pellet that I can get to stack symmetrically in here is the 27 caliber number two. That's the only reason why we don't go any bigger than number two buck in this scenario that I'm putting together here for you guys because these were by far our best performers. So let's get started. What I'm using today, brand new Fioki hulls in the two and three quarter inch and the three inch loads that we shot in this video. We're going to start with a two and three quarter inch and we're going to load the F buck in both of them. But like uh, uh, you, you get the gist from what I'm talking about pellet sizes, we shot a lot down at the range. But I only need to demonstrate two of these loads for you guys, the two and three quarter inch and the three inch, because all the other loads are loaded identically the same. It is all about lead payload weight. All about lead payload weight. That is the weight of the lead that is in your round here. We're rough, roughly real close to one ounce of lead payload weight in the two and three quarter inch rounds, all the two and three quarter inch rounds. And with the uh, three inch rounds, roughly 1.2, 1.15 to 1.2 or 1.1 and a quarter to ride in that general vicinity in the three inch round. So. As rapidly as I can so we can get y'all on down at the range is what everybody's waiting to see. Let's uh, let's put together the uh, the two and three quarter inch. One of them that performed really, really well. We started out at 50 meters because Rachel and I just didn't want to have to deal with moving the bench. But after thinking about it and with we were shooting 20 gauge and a lot of times folks don't really want to stretch it much further than about 45 yards or so. I'm just saying 40, 45 yards. We picked it up after the first couple of shots and moved the bench on up to 45 yards, which is around 41 meters for you guys that have to use the metric system. So anyway, I'll talk more about that when we get down to the range and let y'all know when that happens. Brand new, primed, Fioki 616 primer, brand new, two and three quarter inch, Fioki, when you can find them. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get the lock and load set up for we're going to need 18 grains in this first round. 180 to get past our decimal. Enter it and dispense. All right, other components that we're going to need, boys. We're going to need an obturator 20 gas seal. I think I just flicked one of my overshot cards off. Obturator 20 gas seal. I'll put a, uh, it says it overcharged most of the time when it does that on the first one. It is not. Hit enter to see what the actual charge is and let's see if it settles down. See, it's 18.1, one tenth of one grain, which is acceptable. So it did not actually overcharge it. It'll do that so uh, a lot of times with the very first charge that I throw. It'll say that I've overcharged it, especially with that heavy, dense powder like the long shot. It'll, uh, it, it'll have a tendency to do stuff like that. Let's get our powder here. 18 grains, two and three quarter inch, new Fiocchi hull. Obturator 20 gas seal. Drop that on in here. Okay, now, the PT2092 wide is a three inch wide and it is a long three inch wide too. So uh, we're gonna have to trim this thing back. Can you? Can you guys see the little rings right there? You should be able to. See, I try what we're doing for both of these loads. We're cutting right about in the middle of the first two rings right here. We're trimming it back. And so all we do with that is I just take my snips here from Ballistic Products right here pretty much between these first two lines right there on the top. Snip those off right there, and we've got our trimmed wide. Now, like I said, because it's the same length wide, we're putting in both rounds here. All righty. Two and three quarter inch, we get our trimmed PT2092, 20 gauge wide. And yes, this is an extended range type load. All right. See here, we got to make sure that our crimp the room to crimp this thing really nice that we've got here by getting this wide length right in these loads. Now, we need 28 pellets of my hard cast powder coated F buck here. Twenty-eight pellets of F buck. They're twenty-two caliber. They stack in here halfway decent by fours. Can y'all see that? Four pellets in these 22 caliber pellets in this wad. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28. And at the time, at the time that we went down to the range and did all of this recording, I had loaded up the rounds. I had put precision spherical buffer in all of these because I had run out of the um, Ballistic Products original. Well, Grant has taken care of that. Grant hooked me up with a uh, with a big pack. Uh, Grant hooked me up with a big bag of original buffer. Grant, you guys at Ballistic Products, y'all are awesome. I appreciate your help and your support. Precision buffer does a really good job, and especially in the full length wides like this. All right, it's a standard 45 thousandths overshot card. This this happens to be an old. I've had these a long time. Old Federal 44 thousandths, 44, 44, 45 thousandths overshot card, just regular old paper. Easy to ride on it too, that's what I like about it. Ballistic Products Roll Crimp, 20 gauge. Hit it with some petroleum gel heat. I hit it about every three, four rounds. Okay, I find I just I just use a piece of 12 gauge uh, FC12. I just rip it up in pieces and use a strip of that in here in my uh, vise. If I can keep my big hands and arms out the way where y'all can see this. That was virtually.
virtually painless. Beautiful two and three quarter inch round and a great performing two and three quarter inch round. Let's go shoot it. Okay, boys, first round, 20 gauge, coyote round, two and three quarter inch, new Fiocchi, new primed Fiocchi, 20 gauge hull, two and three quarter inch hull from Ballistic Products. We've got 18 grains, a long shot in here, an obturator 20 gas seal under a trimmed PT20 92Y for an extended range. We got F Buck 22 caliber, hard cast, powder coated F Buck in here, 28 pellets of it, all covered in precision spherical buffer, roll crimped, and I write my pellet size here on the end of the overshot card. We are at 50 meters. Just trying to get up on us. Twelve twenty. Oh, I got my new Benelli extractor put into Stoger. Ejected and locked back. How about that? Whew, boy, there's one right in the bull. It'd be hard for a yoke to get out of that without being hit, wouldn't it? Now, we're at 50 meters because that's where the table is, and me and Rachel didn't want to have to move to blame table, so we're still at 50 meters. That is almost complete coverage here. We got some real coyote targets that we're going to shoot for you guys here on the last few shots. But we had 28, 22 caliber pellets in here. Let me see if I can get them counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I count twenty-two or twenty-eight right here. Maybe more, maybe less. Y'all could probably see them pretty good if I get out, get my shot out the way where y'all could see it. But dog-sized target in the middle of this target. He's hit from his nose to his butt. That's a two and three quarter inch round too. That don't smack too bad, so that'd be that'd be great for smaller folks, kids, or youngins, or young ladies to shoot. All right, I think I got a three inch uh, with the F buck. We uh, we'll go ahead and shoot that next. Okay, boys, and the only one I'm gonna have to demonstrate for you is the three inch, uh, and then we're just gonna go on down to the range and shoot them all after that. So, uh, but we need 19 grains of long shot in, uh, in the three inch load. So let's get the lock and load set on 19. And nothing complicated here, guys. This is all loaded the identical same way, same components, same trimmed wad that we just did, same length of trimmed wad that we did. And we're still sticking with the F buck here. That's where we started down at the range. So that's what we're going to stay with now. New Fiocchi primed, 616, no magnum primers in these uh, holes that I've got here. Fixing to run out of them, and uh, I checked again, and BP didn't have any have any in stock, but you better check every, every day, multiple times a day, guys, because uh, stock is gone just about as fast or faster than Grant even knows they've got it in. It's already uh, come, come in stock and sold out and on back order before he even knows stock has come in. Anyway. 19 grains here in the three inch. 19 grains of long shot. Long shot and HS6. I notice have been coming on. We we loaded a few rounds with the HS6 and they did okay. They really did. So if that's what you got, it'll work. Um, Optrader 20 gas seal, just like the two and three quarter inch. Trimmed PT2092. So, trimmed same length. A 
This one's going to sit a little further down in there. I like it that way. I like to give myself a little bit of extra room, even if I overstack the wad. And in this case, I think one row of the F-buck is about halfway out or, or overstacks the wad just a little bit. It just gives you a little bit more room uh, to make sure that you get a good roll on your crimp and that none of your rounds end up, especially your three inch and your three inch guns, to make sure none of your rounds are a little bit too long to chamber like they should. Okay, you want to make sure that that's uh, that your overall length is in good shape. Okay, twenty-eight. We need thirty-two. We need thirty-two pellets here, extra row in the three-inch. Okay, boys, thirty-two pellets right there, just above the wide. And I think in the video we did shoot the precision buffer. We're going to cover it. Just cover the pellets. Overshot card, paper, regular paper overshot card. And this was how we loaded all of them, boys. Every last one of the rounds we checked down there at the range. This is how this is how we loaded them. All right, let's head on down there and shoot all of the rest of them. I'll be back with you here in just a little bit. All right, here is the three-inch New Fioki primed uh, 20 gauge hull from Ballistic Products. These have the standard 616 primers, boys. No Magnum primers in these 20 gauge. We've got 19 grains of long shot, um, and we have an obturator 20 gas seal over the 19 grains and the trimmed PT-2092 to make this an extended range. We've got 32 powder coated hard cast F buck in the three inch with a very pretty roll crimp. And we also have this one covered in the precision spherical buffer because at the time I loaded these up, that was all I had, boys. Uh, the Ballistic Products Original or 47 work equally well in these rounds here. Pretty roll crimp. All right, let's shoot this one. Okay. Eleven seventy six. 20 gauge is running like a machine now, boys. <laughs> You're alive. Okay, fellas. Yeah, it looks like the, maybe the mass, the mass majority may have went a little bit low. Still a lot of coverage. How many pellets did you count? 26. 26 of 32. Down here on paper, we got one in the bull. Several masses right in here, if this is the center of where the dog was at. But like I said, boys, all I have is my 120 gauge Stoker M3020, and uh, it, this might not would be a load that I would settle on, but would work great out of your gun. The what we're showing is that the data is sound, your velocities you're getting, and sometimes some potential patterns you're getting out of these loads. But no matter how the gun patterns, the data is sound, and uh, it surely has a lot of potential. You surely can tell. I've got T Buck. I've also got some BB shot, lead, copper-plated BB, that we can try as well, as well as your number three, number two, number four, and all that. I don't know if we're going to get to all that today, but uh, but we're going to try to get to as many as we can. So uh, I'm going to grab the, uh, we'll start working our way down. we got the F-buck here. We'll move down to the T-buck, and then we'll shoot the BB size. Y'all stand by. Okay, fellas, since we're shooting the 20 gauge and we were really stretching it at 50 because Rachel and I love y'all so much, we got the table and moved it up to 45 yards. I don't, well, I'll get it all posted right here, boys, in the graph. I don't exactly know what the meters are on 45 yards, but, but I'll post it right here. Um, two and three quarter inch, new, once again, Fioki Prime, the new two and three quarter inch hull from Ballistic Products. 18 grains, a long shot. 
under an obturator 20 gas seal, a trimmed PT2092 wad to make this an extended range load. Now we're going into the T-Buck T20, 20 caliber. This is my 20 caliber powder coated hard cast in here. We've got um, 38 pellets of 20 caliber T-Buck. And let me see here. I was trying to see what uh, I'm sure we were using a uh, precision spherical buffer because I had run out of the ballistic products original when I loaded these so this is going to be covered in precision spherical buffer okay boy it's 45 yards now 41.15 meters Rachel said that's 41 meters for just over 41 meters yeah. 38 pellets of 20 caliber buckshot in a 20 gauge load. <laughs> Gonna be a lot of stickers. Huh? That's a lot of stickers. Oh yeah. Eleven sixty-nine. baby boys look at what it did with that t-bug now that's the kind of pattern you're looking for here and especially if you shoot the 20 gauge a lot of you may not want to stretch it out past 40 yards or 45 yards but we were shooting them at 50 meters but uh i hope rachel counted some but uh there are 38 pellets <laughs> in this two and three quarter inch round but right here let's just concentrate on what we got right here and I will, we'll just call this a 14 inch circle right here dead center. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 pellets of 20 caliber t buck in a 14 inch circle right here. If that dog was anywhere near in here, he's eat up. Let's shoot the 3 inch in the t buck. Heck, I don't even know how many pellets we got in the 3 inch, but we'll see it in just a second. Okay, boys, here's the three inch round. New Fiocchi primed, three inch hull. 19 grains of long shot under an obturator 20 gas seal. Of course, the trimmed PT2092 to make this an extended range. This thing has got 45 pellets of powder coated 20 caliber T buck. Uh, and like I said, it's going to be covered in precision spherical buffer because I was out of, uh, of the ballistic products original all righty boys let's see how the three inch does forty five pellets in the three inch That's not right. It says 2614, but that's not right. My guess would be right around 1200 foot per second. It's a little bit low, boys, but that's me. Um, my, my high vis site is not high vis anymore. It went dead. The light tube is burnt out in it, and it's not uh, it's not glowing for me, so it's kind of hard for me to see it. So anyway, it just I just held it a little bit low. Rachel said she thinks all 45 pellets are in here. But look at this. I ain't even going to count it. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. I did twice. Think that's bad. Let's shoot the uh, <laughs> let's shoot the copper plated BB. Or right, it's actually B size and 17 caliber. We're getting up we're getting up 50 60 pellets in uh, each one of those rounds. Y'all stand by. Yay. <laughs> Well, as a lot of you are starting to find HS6 has come available. So, uh, not only has the long shot come available, some the HS6 has as well. So, we loaded up a few rounds with the HS6. The two and three quarter inch new Fiocchi uh, primed hull, 19 grains of HS6. Um, that's under an obturator 20, trimmed PT 2092 seal to make it uh, wide, to make it extended range. And we've got number B size copper plated 17 caliber 
uh, 52 pellets in a two and three quarter inch and we do have this one covered in Ballistic Products original buffer. Alrighty, we're going to shoot a real nice target for you guys with this one. Alright boys, here we go. That says 9.17. That might be fairly close. We start light and then we work our way up. That was 19 grains of HS6, so that's probably the correct velocity. He's definitely dead. <laughs> but it looks like the Stoger is shooting a little bit low. We got, what have we got in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We got fourteen pellets and a dog. Most of them went low. I'm gonna adjust with the three inch and hold it a little bit, hold it a little bit higher and see if we can get that pattern a little bit more centered shooting the three inch BB load. Y'all stand by. I'd bump that 20 gauge HS6 load up to at least 20 grains, possibly 21 grains with the HS6 and that two and three quarter inch load to get your velocities up around 1100 foot per second. The BB and the three inch, we got 19 a long shot. Same thing, boys. Obturator 20 uh, gas seal under a trimmed PT2092 to make it an extended range. 17 caliber number B shot, copper plated. We got 60 pellets in the uh, in the three inch round precision spherical buffer got it covered and you see this is 1.15 ounces of total lead payload weight here with 60 pellets of B size shot Well, boys, that ain't that wouldn't be real great news for the fur bearers. <laughs> if uh, unless you're wanting your fur a little bit air conditioned. But that's uh, we got the pattern more centered on that one right there, as you can see. All of that is all that's in the spine bottles and all that here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one pellets and a dog. So uh that would definitely get it done. And that was at 1277 foot per second, I think it was. So 1.15 ounces of lead payload weight, boys. Any shot size will work in that load that you can fit in that wide at 1.15 ounces of lead weight. Should give you some pretty decent performance. Alrighty, I think we got a little pattern. Um, I think we got some number two buck or a number three. I, I'm not sure what size I'll look and see, but we'll wrap it up with that. Y'all stand by. All righty, boys. The uh, the 20 gauge coyote. This uh, the biggest pellet I could get in to the, using the same data here. The biggest pellet I could get in here. This is the three inch. Was a 27 caliber powder coated number two buck. That was the biggest one I could get in this extended range load. We got 19 a long shot. Same brand new Fiocchi three inch hull. 19 a long shot. A uh, Obturator 20 gas seal under the trimmed PT2092 and 27 caliber, 22 pellets of 27 caliber, number two buck in this three inch round was as big a pellet as I could get. And that's a 1.2 ounce load covered in precision spherical buffer. 
All right, Rachel, honey, you ready? Okay. Twenty-two pellets, a number two buck. And let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, all twenty-two are on paper. And this is what we're looking at here, dead center. I'm just shooting low, boys. That's all there is to it. I can't really see the sight, so I'm guessing. And I just seem to be consistently shooting low on this big target here. But we got this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, right here in a 12 inch circle, right here, 20, uh, 27 caliber powder coated pellets. That not only get the job done on the deer, it'll get the job done on the coyotes too. Boys, next shot identical, same data as the uh, as the number two buck. Only this is number three buck. Remington number three buck we got 24 pellets of uh, of the Remington number three buck in this extended range 20 gauge three inch round all covered in precision spherical buffer to the same velocity. Yeah, that's that's much better, and that's definitely wadded in there too, boys. That'll be, like I said, not only are these great deer hunting rounds for young ladies and kids, but these will make some excellent coyote rounds as well. Let me see, I got one flyer over here. One Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, all twenty-four. Had one flyer here, one flyer here, and all the rest of them are in a 16, 18 inch circle right there. Alright, let's shoot the number four and we'll be done. Once again, fellas, exact same data, new three inch hole. Our 19, a long shot, seems to be the sweet spot. Obturator 20, trimmed uh, PT2092. And here we got some powder coated, some of my hard cast powder coated number four buck, 24 pellets in here, and covered in precision spherical buffer. 1.15 ounces of lead payload weight. You guys will notice that there's the same number of pellets with the number three buck as there is a the number four. I'll explain a little more about that at the bench, but the Remington number three buck is actually just a hair bigger than the uh, 24 caliber number four buck. Just a hair heavier, same number of pellets. Velocities are pretty much identical. All right. I don't know how many we got, but great day. We got most all of it is here in a, about a 28 inch circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 of 24. 
if I counted right. We don't have any other double hits that I don't see. But that's excellent coverage, be it deer or dog in here. Well, fellas, that's going to wrap it. Alrighty, boys, there you have it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. There was some good performance stuff down there. I think that's going to work out well for you. These things do not smack your brains out. They just don't. Uh, so they're great for kids, great for young ladies that don't like to get their faces ripped off whenever they're shooting it, whatever they're shooting at. This stuff, I believe, is going to work out really, really well for you guys at low 20 gauge and want a good extended range, good performing extended range 20 gauge using all these different sizes of buckshot. This is Wade Rush. We'll see y'all on the next one.